over the years, I have been diligently working to develop my knowledge of historical music. I listen to music not only from the 20th and 19th centuries, but also music dating all the way back to the medieval and renaissance eras. One beautiful song I have been listening to this month is a medieval song called Conqui Simus Con Carientes. This 14th century manuscript was compiled at a monastery in Catalonia, Spain, and the original manuscript still resides at that monastery. There are two versions of this song that I like to listen to. The first is by the group The New London Consort, and the other is by the group Ensemble Unicorn. My film of the month is the 1938 film, The Adventures of Robin Hood. This film stars Errol Flynn, Olivia de Havilland, Basil Rathbone, and Claude Rains. The movie begins with King Richard of England leaving England to fight in the Crusades. In his absence, his evil brother, Prince John, seizes the regency of the kingdom. As Prince John and his Norman aides begin to oppress the Saxon people, a Saxon lord named Robin Hood forms a band of men to defend their people against the oppression. The Adventures of Robin Hood is undoubtedly a classic, and it was really one of the first epic adventure movies made. First of all, it was filmed in color, which was still a very special thing for movies of that time. It had a fantastic all-star cast, a great soundtrack, and wonderfully choreographed battle and fight scenes, which were, again, a pretty unique and rare quality for movies of that era. Above all, my favorite part of the movie is the beautiful costumes by the ingenious costume designer Milo Anderson. From the overall designs down to the minute details and the very textiles and fabrics chosen, the costumes for both the men and the women are unique and beautiful. My book of the month is a historical novel written in 1861 called The Cloister and the Hearth, written by the English author Charles Reed. Set in 15th century Holland, it is about a young man named Gerard who is a calligraphy and art prodigy. His parents, Catherine and Eli, have big plans for their favorite son deciding that he is to be a priest, as well as the caretaker of the family after their death. But before he completes the final steps to becoming a priest, Gerard happens to meet a beautiful young girl named Margaret. Soon the two fall in love and agree to be married, but his family fiercely oppose the marriage because it would obviously ruin Gerard's chance of becoming a priest. Before he is captured and forced to become a priest, he secretly marries Margaret and then escapes from Holland to Italy. This description of the story just scratches the surface of what goes on in the cloister and the hearth. It is a very detailed, very involved novel that makes you really feel like you are in this world and are dealing with the same problems that these characters are facing. Overall, this is a fantastic novel that I 
would recommend to anyone. And I believe that both men and women would enjoy this book because it does not just focus on the romance between Gerard and Margaret. It's not girly and it's not another romance novel. It has a lot of other things and it deals with a lot of other things than just romance. There's humor and comedy and it also has a lot of adventure and excitement and action in it as well. For my arts and crafts category of the month, I have a drawing that took a lot longer than some of my other paintings and drawings. It took several months, but I am pretty pleased with the result. It is a drawing of a medieval couple standing in a doorway with a cherry tree and rolling hills in the background. This was an original picture that just popped into my head one day. I did not have any specific inspiration from one subject or one picture, but I did look at the style of old stained glass windows and I took some style and design notes from the Adventures of Robin Hood. <laughs> 